Hey there, it's Dr. Yang. You're probably well informed of what to do and what not to do at this point, so there's no point in me repeating them. If you're at home with kids like me, think of this as a great time for some family bonding, which you wish you had in the past but didn't. It's a great time now to take out that poker table, board games, or teach uh, your kids those old car games you used to play but they haven't learned yet. Yesterday, we designed and made splash guards or face shields using art supplies like the ones at the hospital. Hospitals have a limited supply of N95 masks and are worried about running out. Without them, medical staff are at high risk of contracting coronavirus and would not be able to care for patients while infected. Doctors and nurses are reusing N95 masks until visibly damaged or contaminated. We are told to wear a regular procedural mask over the N95 mask and a face shield to prevent a direct cough or sneeze from contaminating them with droplets. I have the impression that the face shields may also be on short supply. Are needed. The nurses have also started collecting donations of protective gear on their own, including, get this, ski goggles and racquetball goggles. And in some cases, they are reusing masks that have already been worn before. Having used these face shields before, I thought we could design one using materials from an art supply store. N95 masks require special material which can filter aerosol from being inhaled and are designed to have an airtight seal, so we can't make those at home. Face shields are like umbrellas and physically block a droplet from getting into your eyes or getting the face mask sprayed with cough, uh, droplets from a cough or a sneeze. These usable face shields are similar to the ones at the hospital, and maybe some of us can make them at home and donate them to medical or public services in the interim until the real ones arrive. Here's what you'll need. A large roll of acetate film, one inch foam roll, three quarter inch elastic, a hot glue gun. If you do make these masks, make sure you have clean hands with proper materials and tools. They are meant for a good cause, so try not to spoil it by trying to sell them. This is Dr. Yang, and I hope you stay safe and healthy. Bye.